Hey everyone, welcome to episode 17 of the Lobat Podcast. We have a very special guest on this week's episode, Andrew Hales. Andrew is the creator behind the YouTube channel Loft, and he's been at it for several years now. We were super excited to have him on to talk about a few things like his start as a YouTube creator, the things he enjoys on his downtime, and why he was even in Virginia Beach to begin with. We even have the first co-host experience for our fearless leader, Ethan, on this episode. So tune in, hit the subscribe button, and enjoy this episode with Andrew Hales of Law. You are now listening to the Lobat Podcast. A weekly show highlighting members of our local creative community and featuring topical conversations with members of the Lobat production team. We're your hosts, Casey House and Fabian Castaneda. Through our own experiences as musicians, visual artists, and business owners, we saw an opportunity to provide a platform for people just like us to deep dive into what it's like to pursue a lifestyle outside of the norm. Without further ado, welcome to the Lobat Podcast. What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Lobat Podcast. Today, we are joined by the YouTube awkward prank king himself, Mr. Andrew Hales, aka Loth. Hello. And uh, also, uh, we have, luckily, Ethan here for his first time, but Hello. nobody's worried about that. Andrew, <laughs> on the other hand, has uh, been on, in the YouTube space for almost 10, or yeah, just about 10 years, a little under. Yeah, yeah, it'll be 10 years next year. Re- okay, mm-hmm. so we're almost there. Uh, and you've accrued over, over 370 million views. Oh, I haven't, I haven't checked that in a Did while. Did the math earlier, found it out. <clears throat> um, and uh, you're currently vagabonding across the U.S. also, which very curious about that. We'll get into that. But thank you so much for being here and welcome to the show. Of course. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Um, so I wanted to start from the beginning, kind of get uh, an idea on where you started. Um, so I was curious about your first dabble in like uh, content creation, whether it was like a school project or like something with friends, like where you first <clears throat> like made something. Yeah. Um, I've always, yeah, like I always made like jackass skateboarding stuff in high school, you know. Um, we made like this long like film for the film festival in high school. And I got first place at that in, um, in uh, my sophomore year or my junior year. And that was just a montage of skateboarding and whatever and, and jackass stuff. And uh, yeah, and that was actually around when YouTube came out. It was like 2005, 2006. And then I uh, went to college, did some random stuff and, um, yeah, and I, I'd always, uh, I'd, I'd, I'd always, like, like doing, um, you know, weird stuff in public or whatnot. And I finally like hired a guy off Craigslist to help me film this this video called "Almost Picking Up Chicks" in like 2012, and we we went and filmed it, <laughs> and then we uploaded it, and it, it got picked up by a uh, world star. <laughs> and um, hell yeah, yeah, <laughs> immediately made it. Is World Star still a thing? I don't even know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know to what extent, but they have fight comps. I watch uh, World Star is like a big thing now. I just feel like it's like I. It was a lot bigger in 2012. I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I think it. I think it had more of a like a like a cult following back yeah. then. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah. I mean, then we just kept uploading every Monday, and the channel grew from there. Uh, uploaded holding hands 10 videos later and then it blew that blew up like 5 million views in a week and that was when i was like whoa i should really do this seriously and so we kept doing it every monday for about a year and um that's when it kind of got my first million subscribers and i just kept doing youtube so it was like immediate pretty much i mean the before that i dabbled in like cell phone I mean, I would I would upload like a cell phone video or something like once a year or something, but that was, yeah, that was, that was on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. So what uh, was it, Jackass, that like inspired you to do that that thing to to submit to the film festival or? Um, I guess I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of kids my age in 2006 were making skateboarding Jackass videos. Mm-hmm. And, oh yeah, that was the thing to do. Yeah, because everyone skated and everyone liked Jackass, <laughs> and everybody liked to get hurt. Back <laughs> and, then. Yeah. Yeah. That was good content watching someone. <laughs> yeah, and I think you know, the Jackass shit. Two came out like in the theaters that year around mm-hmm. there, 2006. And the that's that old. Yeah, Whoa. I heard they're actually making a fourth one. Yeah, I think they're they either yeah. are still pro- producing it or they're they film that they finished production. Oh yeah. Um. Hmm. Well. Yeah, I don't know. I just 
around 2012 I, it was it really stemmed from being an entrepreneur though i heard you could like make money on youtube and so i was like all right let's what could get some views here what's kind of funny what can i do here and those are just some ideas i had <laughs> that's an interesting take because in like 2006 time the idea of making money on youtube actually wasn't that prominent so i'm curious about uh, oh yeah no like that didn't that, those thoughts i didn't have that thought till like 2000 like 12 or whatever oh, okay yeah but you were already like you're already prominent on youtube making videos every monday by that point for years um no no i didn't the the almost picking of chicks was in 2012 oh that wasn't 2012 that's yeah, right yeah right so the 2006 was just like in high school when i was like screwing around so and, yeah so that video the picking up chicks video mm -hmm. where did that idea come from and I, I i watched it again today and i was like oh my god i like I don't know. I just thought it was uh, just a funny thing to do and really easy. And we did it in like an hour and, <laughs> and it just worked. <laughs> and then we just uploaded it. Yeah. We just, you know, strapped on a, a lav, lav mic and uh, it was pretty easy. Just went around college. Yeah. Brave soul. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't really like, uh, I don't know, really thought out or, you know, agonizingly thought out or you, you just kind of went for it mm -hmm. is so that, is that like most of your uh some of your ideas are it's just kind of like not just kind of go do something and see what what happens see if it sticks yeah i mean i'll just think of like a title staring at people and then <laughs> we'll pretty much improv it from there just like i'm gonna go stare at people <laughs> yeah but that's <laughs> see like, if it comes out good <laughs> yeah but like all those were like all the pranks and stuff were like eight years ago um so we did pranks for like three or four years and i started getting sick of that and then um, <clears throat> then I started doing uh, this kind of a podcast, the chatting with these interviews, and I did those for like th two or three years. And uh, now I'm here, just uh, vlogging and uploading whatever. I don't really have a format right now. Yeah, but. the chatting with videos, I I found a lot of um, like, like I I respect them a lot because of the the wide variety of the type of people that you're talking to, and also the I feel like there's almost a like. There's an interview, and then there's a, we're just going to sit down, and like I'm going to ask you anything, and the walls are, are gone. Like We can just talk about whatever. And I got that from a lot of those videos, that it seems like you're, you're both in agreement that it's like, we're just going to like talk about anything. Yeah. Um, I, I would just tell people, like, look, I'm just going gonna, gonna to ask a lot of dumb questions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just pretend I'm like a, like a guy at a bar asking all the most simple questions. Um, that you get all the time and then I'm just we'll do that for an hour and then I'll chop it down into like 20 minutes okay so they usually run about an hour but you chop them down yeah interesting okay yeah. was there a reason behind that not just having it be as like a stereotypical hour-long podcast um, I guess just wanting to take out the fluff and I don't know just trying to make it the best video it can be right and it's probably a little bit more uh it's a lot more work. Uh, I mean, it's, of course, it's a lot of work, um, but m more yeah. people will be able to like, kind of take in 20 minutes rather than an hour sometimes. Right, yeah. yeah. So it's like, um, yeah, but I, I mean, there's a few that I did. I stretched it. I think there's one I stretched it two hours, mm -hmm. which was, but I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I'm always experiencing with everything and anything and different lengths and when to upload, et cetera. Yeah, it's really hard to like kind of... uh see gauge what's especially you've been at it for so long um yeah. kind of gauge you know what the trends are to like have the most successful post times and 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 engaging content yeah i mean at the end of the day it's like you just have to upload something good no, of course <laughs> of course it's gonna it's gonna catch on if it's good enough right like everything else is pretty much fluff but yeah I I, i've heard like uploading on wednesdays is is the best time for some reason Hey, that's when we publish yeah, the podcast. That oh, is. is it really <laughs> nice? Yeah. Go figure. Yeah, it's that hump day stuff, man. They just they're bored. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't know. That was a total accident. <laughs> oh, <laughs> to okay. be posting on the right day, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, and with like, I saw a video that I hadn't seen, which was you uh, from forever ago. You donating or tipping like two hundred dollars uh, mm. to, to waiters and servers. That was a hard video. Was it? <laughs> well, we we did it like eight times, and Ooh. the people didn't react at all. Oh, no, <laughs> no, really? Yeah, so we spent like 20, 100, 2100 bucks or something. <laughs> and you only got a couple people to react? Right. We only, so we, like, we just luckily 
you know, magically, miraculously edited this two minute video with these three reactions mm. <laughs> and cell phone footage and whatnot. And th- yeah, that blew up. That was, but yeah, I never want to do that again. Uh, yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> understood. Well, lo and behold, you got, you got Mr. Beast running around doing that same yeah, thing. I and don't, I don't envy him. Yeah. <laughs> unless, I was, unless he's just telling them beforehand, look, I need you to really give a good reaction yeah here. but like, yeah, that's it, not authentic like come on it seems like such a weird I, I feel like he leaves like so many bills even if it's two hundred dollars he'd be the dude to like leave 200 once so it's like they're gonna be like <laughs> there's a pile of money on the table they're gonna yeah. see it <laughs> yeah i think we we st- we just put like i don't know 10 20s or something okay what's 200 bucks 10 20s yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah that'd be 10 20s okay <laughs> <laughs> quick math um but yeah no i th- sometimes i think like he's got a like and plus like people like the crew the crew on his team like they're always they know he's filming and the camera's there so they mm-hmm. you know they, they know he wants them to ju- jump around and stuff you know? so <laughs> a little bit less subtle I, I haven't watched i've only seen like two or three of his videos but yeah i just think it's awesome that something that you did so many years ago that to my from what i understand was at least not a popular thing at bare Mi- or, or even uh wasn't even a a thing that people were doing in general, like at all. And now it's one of the most popular things on YouTube is these like donations or leaving big tips. And yeah, like, so you're almost like too far ahead of the game. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I'll take that, <laughs> but, um, I don't know. It's, um, it's just one of the videos of many that we did. Yeah. So, but, and then the other charity one was, uh, Paying grocery, paying paying for people's groceries. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that one blew up too. But and was, now those were the only two. Now you're out here just trying to create anything. <laughs> I don't you know can... what I'm doing right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've been I've been vlogging, um, just vlogging my adventures. We were in Georgia for two months before this, and we've been here for about two months. Um, we're saving a lot of money. We're just kind of climbing out of debt. Um, I sold all my <laughs> chatting with equipment and stuff just to kind of pay off one credit card. And um, yeah, we're doing good. We'll we'll probably we'll be back in black in a few months. <laughs> okay. So And so what good. uh what inspired this decision to be like we're gonna go see the whole country and also save money while you're doing it? Um just yeah, mostly wanted to uh, <clears throat> have an adventure and save money and we wanted to get out of L.A. Uh, L.A. was getting depressing with COVID and everything, mm. um, and the riots. But uh, the yeah, and the rent we were paying. Oh, both of us were paying over fifteen hundred bucks a month in rent. So <laughs> wow. So already, yeah, in Georgia, we we got this Airbnb for four hundred bucks a month. And so <laughs> what? yeah, it was like it was a no brainer. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so, you don't need like a credit check or anything for Airbnb. Oh, so. You're right. You're just like, hey, we promise we won't trash the place. Yeah. Just like, can I crash here for like a month or two? You know? like, yeah, no, yeah. The landlord was really cool about it and just let us stay there for two months. And it's like you have the whole place to yourself. It's not sharing a room or anything. It was this little tiny, tiny house, like tiny cabin house, the mm. size of like probably yeah, the size of the room over there. Really? Yeah. Good Lord. <laughs> It was cool. We just watched a lot of TV and stuff <laughs> and hiked a lot. So you're you were in Georgia in a cabins. Were were you out and about more often than not? Yeah, yeah. We uh I hiked probably five or six miles a day. Heck yeah. Um we did a lot of fishing and Bonnie, my dog, really liked it and I learned a lot about Georgia. Uh, a lot of people play the lottery. <laughs> and uh <laughs> There's a lot of really religious people there. Like they don't sell alcohol on uh, Sunday. Um, well, well, in like Swainsboro anyway. And um, yeah, just all those little things. You know, it's fun to learn about different cities in the U.S. <laughs> so, have you been? Had you have? Had you ever been there before? And have you ever been here before? No, I've never been to either. And, okay. Um, yeah. So. So how how do you decide on those places in particular? Just, uh, well, we were just looking on Airbnb, what's the cheapest for, for the best deal? And we found that place, and then we found this place in Norfolk that was uh, pretty cheap and had Wi-Fi and everything. <laughs> had the essentials. <laughs> like it, cheap, got Wi-Fi, <laughs> everything like, I need. We're like, good enough, yeah. Because it's like, yeah, the YouTube, it's like 
a lot of it's um it, you get paid once a month and um you know i still make money on a lot of my old videos but um i don't know it's you get uh the money <laughs> the money comes in and you just like you just wait it out and you don't you save money <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, I was curious mm -hmm. about the, the the money side of of YouTube in general. Yeah, yeah. Um, especially again with you having doing it so long. Um, is there like do, do you do you feel like you have like, an, uh, a business plan or an interesting like like approach to it that's maybe different from other people that has led to you being able to live off of it for so long? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, you're asking if. Like, do you have any sort of a, an approach to it that, like, um, isn't just, like, I'm just going to upload, but it's, like, you, you have you have a thought out, like, I need to do this this many times, or? Okay. Um, yeah, well, I mean, when people ask, it's, like, it's 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 about $1 to $3 every thousand views, and I try to, and so, yeah, you just try to get as many views as you can, mm -hmm. but you can't just upload, like, 10 videos a day, because... It'll scare your audience away, yeah, <laughs> and you'll, yeah. you'll burn through them, and it screws up the algorithm and all that. And um, there's all these little things like that that you have to pay attention to. Um, and also, yeah, like uh, the stock trading. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did this chatting with like five different stock traders because I noticed the CPM would skyrocket. It, it would be it would be like ten dollars per thousand views. Mm. So I would do those like every four or five months and you would you'd make like five times more money on that oh, one wow. that's so smart <laughs> yeah so. just like oh this is how the system I, works yeah i didn't well i didn't know anything about the cp like the keywords in the titles making any kind of difference and the topic of the video with the cpm so now i'm i'm leaning towards like doing these video essays like about financial stuff and <laughs> okay and just trying to add a, my own style and twist to it and editing and etc i don't know yeah we'll we'll see what happens right yeah just kind of like you saw that there was an opportunity there just gotta actually see if it's gonna work out for you so mm -hmm. i understand that yeah. yeah i saw you uh you did a video a couple months ago and at the end you had a big bit about about the finance cpm oh yeah yeah <laughs> yeah that well you're one of the 10 people that i watched to that <laughs> <laughs> man because, yeah, I think the my viewer retention right now is like four minutes or something. But, yeah, I think that was like a 14-minute video or something. Wow. What a true fan over here. <laughs> yeah. So I feel like there's always you. something to stick around for. <laughs> I'm, I'm the same way. Even if even if it's a video that's losing me, I'm like, there might be something at the end. <laughs> there might be. Yeah, There I know, might be a redeeming um, quality. I know, yeah. like, with the podcast, we've hidden little things at the end of some of the episodes. Oh, yeah. All We're the probably time. the only people that know about them. But Most likely. There. Really <laughs> yeah, that, the end. That's, uh, that, that's actually a really good call out, too, of, like, how many times we've done that. There's, like, like behind the scenes stuff or, like, like we'll leave the, the mics running for, like, 30 seconds afterwards and we'll just have something, a little, little secret at the end. So uh, if anybody wants to go back and check those out. <laughs> Make sure you watch it from the beginning, though. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, please don't don't just skip to the end. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> yeah, um, viewer, yeah. Viewer retention and uh, watch time were big like shifts in the al al algorithm, like around two thousand fourteen and YouTube and stuff. Yeah, you've you've gone through all the shifts. Really, yeah. it's apocalypse. been apocalypse. Like, yeah, the yeah, apocalypse. And that was that was a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what a what a weird. I mean, you're. I feel like you're. It's I, I, one reason you should always just save money and have a. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> <a mistake. laughs> I mean, I could be wrong, but I feel like your your videos would still qualify under like like uh, what, what's the phrasing that they use for videos that that get demonetized ad, because they're uh, like, ad friendly. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. No, I only got like maybe ten percent of mine demonetized. Okay. Yeah, I was fine. That's but, a that's a good margin. Yeah. No, I had one friend. Um, like his whole channel got, oh, man. got demonetized. Oh, yeah. no, that's so he rough. had to he had to like go directly to Patreon and all this other stuff and merch. Like, Look, guys. Yeah. I got fucked. <laughs> Ad -ad Admittedly, was it was it deserved or was it was it too much? Uh I don't know. I mean, I don't I mean it's it's all up to like Pepsi and McDonald's, yeah. you know. So and they're just conservative, you know. Yeah, that's fair. So um I want to know about the name too. Uh Losing All Hope Was Freedom. 
Mm. Where uh, <laughs> where does that come from? <laughs> uh, movie Fight Club. Um, <laughs> have you seen it? I have not. See, I don't watch any movies <clears throat> ever. So that's why it went over movies? my head. I <laughs> would like to watch movies, but I either fall asleep or, or I don't like watching movies by myself. Okay. And everybody has already seen every movie ever. And you, and you don't <laughs> have any friends. Yeah, I have no friends at all. <laughs> all of my friends have already already, already seen the movies or uh, they don't want to hang out with me. <laughs> <Well>. <laughs> Time for my therapy session. <laughs> there's Scheduled this, for there's Tuesday. This is awkward long pause now. <laughs> Well, that's too bad. Um, no, yeah. Well, Fight Club. Uh, he just says it in the movie, and I, I, I remember just watching the movie in college and thinking it was a cool line in the movie. And uh, I made it the title of my blog, and I made the YouTube channel on the side. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And then, oh yeah, and then people pretty much thought it meant laugh, like mm-hmm. it was a weird way to spell laugh. And, <laughs> funny videos and that's i mean that that's where my head went initially i was like oh yeah it's just a creative way of saying laugh yeah (laughs) (laughs) no that's not how it went i get that all the time (laughs) i well i i hate it because it it's hard to spell and it's hard to remember people are like oh laugh and l l a w h f what i don't Mm -hmm. know and and i just wish i like just had something more simple from the very beginning (laughs) that was just like awkward andrew or something or (laughs) and i just stuck with that forever yeah so whatever. Um, so while you're out going to all these different cities, um, so far of all the places you've gone, do you have a, a standout favorite? Um, well, we really like Norfolk. Uh, a lot of really friendly people. We were walking home from the grocery store, and it was raining, and not one but two different people stopped and offered us a ride home, but. We what? Were, yeah, but we were like 50 yards away from the house. So, but yeah, it's, it's um nice town. Cannot relate. <laughs> that has not been my experience. Did you, you, grew, you grew up here? I grew up in I mean, Virginia Beach, but I spent a lot of time in Norfolk and mm. both. It's just, I, I mean, I'm the same way. I'm like, I also mind my business. I'm mm. just like, you're over there. I'm over here. We're just going to not interact. I'm not much of a howdy neighbor person, mm. but I, it sounds like those people were. Yeah, they're, I don't know. I, I, well, you never see that in LA, so there's a huge difference there. There's like some some bit of uh, Southern hospitality left in this area. This is like the line of like, you're kind of like south, but you're definitely not north. I don't know. Yeah, it's like the the junior south. Here. <laughs> we're, the, we're, the, we're the only place left with uh, sweet tea. Yeah, once you go north of here, there's no more you sweet tea. You go one city north, mm-hmm. no more sweet tea. They're like, what was sweet? What? <laughs> I can get you some sugar. Like, like. <laughs> you, you just put sugar in your tea already? What? <laughs> where, uh, where are you heading to next after this place? Uh, upstate New York. Oh, whoa. Okay. Definitely yeah. no sweet tea. Yeah, you've been there? <laughs> uh, I've, been, I've been to Manhattan once, um, and I drove through a little bit of New York, but no. Um, yeah, I, my family has a cabin there, and we're just going to camp out there for until the fall, and then we'll probably settle down somewhere. And we don't really know where. <laughs> you don't you don't have plans to return to LA? Um we thought about that, but we yeah, we don't really want to go back to LA. It's just too expensive and traffic and <laughs> weather pollution and Instagram girls and <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I feel like everyone's like climbing the ladder there, you know. It really does seem like a like a different world. Like yeah. everybody is there doing a thing. <laughs> Like which Everyone's is cool, it's inspiring, but it's also yeah. exhausting. Yeah, like you anywhere really you go, you're just, on camera. Yeah, yeah, that too. A lot of vloggers, a mm-hmm. lot of YouTubers are out there. Um, viners. There's this whole building where all the viners lived in mm-hmm. oh, Hollywood. Wow. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, we we've thought about Vermont, or I even applied for the Tulsa, Oklahoma thing, where they give you ten grand to move there. <laughs> and you're like, that hey, that's free money, man. No, well, but you have to live there for a year and buy a house and stuff oh. like that. But <laughs> what they have, they have a credit. Like they're, yeah, they're paying like a, people to move there. <laughs> yeah, that so just shows the kind of city it is. Yes, I mean, I feel like that shows how bad it is. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Hell, but yeah, I don't know. We've also thought about Austin and just wherever Florida. No, we're we're leaning towards a no state income tax state. So, mm. oh, true. Yeah, yeah, that'll definitely help. Yeah. Florida or not Florida? What I hate Florida. Um, <laughs> Austin has been a big place yeah, on my radar. Austin's been like the next, like the new 
LA pretty yeah. much. I there's a there's a company out of there called uh, Rooster Teeth that I followed for a long time and I've always just like admired what they make there. So I was just like, all right, that's enough reason right there. And mm-hmm. then I actually went and visited and Austin's cool. Yeah. I yeah. like Austin a lot. Yeah, I got friends in Austin. And I think Jim or Joe Joe Rogan's there now. Oh, is he? Mm-hmm. Hey, it's the next LA. So, or actually, wasn't there a scandal with him like last week or something? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's there ever not one. Yeah, there's, there's always a, there's always a scandal. <laughs> Do you guys talk about scandals on this show? Uh, we haven't, but we're not. I mean, there isn't really anything that we're, we're. I mean, <laughs> let let's get into it. <laughs> let's talk about Joe Rogan right now. That call just, it Scandal Saturdays. Just mentioning know. Joe Rogan, I feel like, is enough to. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I mean, honestly, like eighty percent of YouTube is like. Just the title and the click and the thumbnail. Yeah, yeah. I've get had, that. I've get that initial the, click. Yeah. yeah, I've had the worst videos go viral over time because of the title and thumbnail. Right. Once Not you, go viral, just climbing views. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Once you get into that recommended list, you know anything can happen. Yeah. The algorithms in your favor. That's a sweet pocket. Uh, favorite restaurant that you've tried while you're here. I'm just curious about your experience in in this area for. Yeah, you're the first real outsider. Favorite restaurants in Norfolk? Yeah, like since you've been in Norfolk, Virginia Beach, this area. Um, has it just been like Chipotle every day? <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't remember. Um, <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably this like pizza place. I think it's called like Antonio's on Little Creek. Mm-hmm. You guys know where that is? I think I've been there. Yeah, before. it's pretty good. <laughs> pretty good you know that's all i yeah can tell i, I, I really I, like all the chains i like popeyes i like mcdonald's i had mcdonald's today <laughs> it's like you know I, what you're gonna get yeah I, I love franchises i don't care if it's i don't know evil or whatever but i yeah i'm the same I, way i find comfort in it yeah it's just like i know exactly what and, i'm gonna well, get and they're they're professionals they, they <laughs> there's a reason they have a, a, a store you know like they everybody. have a recipe <laughs> The Big Mac, you, 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 they have the best cookies. They have, <laughs> they they have the best burgers, uh, and it's always the same. And I don't know. All right. I you guess heard, you heard it here first. McDonald's has the best burgers you can find. <laughs> Bur- Absolutely best. Well, not maybe not burgers, but just overall, it's a great company. Absolutely great. <laughs> I stand by <laughs> them. Wonders. Hundred percent for the economy. <laughs> Sponsor me. <laughs> Yeah, how about that labor shortage? They're hiring for twelve bucks an hour here. Is That's it twelve crazy. right now? I think they're pushing up to seventeen or eighteen now. They're like, some, wow. some they're starting to talk about that. Wow. Yeah. To be a cashier. Yeah. To just just work. <laughs> just at, work. Just to be a body. I would, I would honestly probably do that. <laughs> yeah. No, I I I, I agree. <laughs> I'm curious what it's going to lead to with like, because everybody who's who's working those jobs, let's say they they go to fifteen, and then there's people that have like a degree and they're making sixteen. It's like, well, hmm. maybe uh. Yeah. Maybe raise everything a bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, we definitely need to even out the, um, you know, the 1% or whatever. Yeah. No kidding. No, no one needs three yachts, you know? Oh, absolutely. So. One should be fine. Yeah. Anybody who has enough a money to have a B in it. We should, <laughs> <laughs> we should move on. Eh. Politics no, are scandalous. Kidding. Yeah, they are. They are scandalous. You know, that's views. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know, I just I I try to stay away from being political on my channel because it's like you almost always get like fifty percent dislikes no matter. Oh yeah, what. absolutely. Because yeah. so. you're literally if you go one way, half the country is not for that way. So yeah, you know that, that's smart. So. Playing a little safe. <laughs> the uh, that, that first video that you did upload um, mm. was that was that your first attempt, or did you have any videos that like you tried to you were like I'm going to post to YouTube, and and you were like I'm not going to post this. And then that one made it. I um I, I uploaded like three or four like before that over a year mm-hmm. or something that filmed with my phone and like just it, they're just ghetto. There's <laughs> terrible videos. Um and that was the first the the picking up girls video was the first one I where I had a DSLR and just nice equipment and mm-hmm. a guy helped me and it wasn't just my friend helping me and so that's why I consider it like, um, like the first one, the first real one. Yeah, yeah. We've so. we've discussed in this podcast that like as musicians, like my first recordings were with a rock band microphone because mm. it it did <laughs> the job. I love that so it's, much. <laughs> like yeah. it's just one of those things where as a as a creator, you don't start way up. You don't start up here ever. Yeah. 
you got to climb and then you got to, you can look back. It's cool. You can look back and be like, wow, that kind of sucked, but like, I still like it. <laughs> yeah. You got to pay your dues. Definitely. <laughs> Every bit of music I've worked on, I feel that way about it's, it's always just like, damn, that's trash. And then like the next thing I'm like, oh, this is awesome. <laughs> and then whenever I move on from that, I'm like, oh, that was awful. Yeah. Every single product. That's good though. Cause it means we're always improving. Well, no, even like after, you know, you get the hang of it, you always have bad videos. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like every, probably at least, yeah, one every one in two videos <laughs> that I upload <laughs> is <every> dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Have you, um, have you, have you had any that have like gone completely awry? Like, like somebody, awry. Uh, like somebody snapping at you, somebody swinging at you, cops being called? Um, well, I always mention uh, this one called stealing the wrong person's cell phone, and the guy just um, tackled me into the snow. <laughs> Ooh, At least there was snow there. I was yeah. just going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he was cool about it afterwards. Uh, that was about it, though. We did, like, stage. We did this, like, kind of um, satirical <laughs> staging series called Dumb Pranks TV where they're, like, kind of obviously fake. And there's this one called Shoulder Checking People. And, I mean, it's fake, but <laughs> you can watch that. <laughs> them freak out at me. <laughs> so, but that, yeah, that's all under a playlist called Dumb Prank TV Parodies. Yeah. Don't Break TV Parodies? Dumb Don't Prank. Prank. Dumb, Dumb, okay. Yeah. Dumb Break TV Parodies. Dumb, yeah, Dumb I said Prank. it wrong again. <laughs> yeah, you did. Dumb <laughs> Prank. Yeah. Dumb Prank TV. Yeah. There you go. It's, it's hard to say. Yeah, the first one Words was hard. shooting at people in the hood. And it got taken down at, like after a year because it was violent mm-hmm. after like the apocalypse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. Yeah, that is violent. That can't well, yeah. <laughs> YouTube was like, you, no, this isn't gonna stay. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, and I had my friend do like special effects. It was like one of my first like, you know, film like, ma- like as a filmmaker, you know. Mm. <laughs> um, and you can watch that on uh Dad proper on that Instagram page. It should still be there. I'm uh, I'm definitely gonna go find that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. While you're vagabonding, do you have any advice of what you've basically picked up on anything? If, if anybody also wanted to follow that same path. Hmm. Um. Let me let me think here. Dead air. <laughs> think. <laughs> uh yeah don't be afraid to try it out uh just try not to, um get a vpn walmart is really good for wi-fi if you don't have wi-fi <laughs> uh mcdonald's has really fast wi-fi um libraries are great mm-hmm <laughs> I, I mean, why you just really need Wi-Fi to get work done nowadays. <laughs> Honestly, you know? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> just anywhere you, you can, can find Wi-Fi. Yeah, and then, yeah, then you can just live anywhere. Um, <laughs> but that's about, yeah, and then just find the cheapest. When you're looking at Airbnb, make sure their cleaning fee or the, all the hidden fees aren't there because they'll sneak those in and mm-hmm. make it really expensive. Um, that's I can't really think of anything else. I mean, while you're filling all of your time, what do you, what do you spend most of your time doing? We actually... <laughs> We live like an old couple right now. We <laughs> we, we, we just play Sudoku. <laughs> I, we just I, I picked up a Sudoku book at Dollar Tree, and we we we'll play we we'll each have our own Sudoku book and just in bed just do that for like hours. It's crazy. Um, we're just both introverts, and um, that's Carly, my girlfriend, and mm. I. In case we didn't, okay. Um, and then, but yeah, we've also been just watching a lot of TV. We've, we've, we've covered all of Seinfeld, <laughs> all of Breaking Bad, all of Better Call Saul, all of Schitt's Creek in the last four months. It's crazy. <laughs> Have you watched, um, oh man, why am I, uh, The Sopranos? No. Would highly recommend it. <laughs> I've heard of, I heard it was, I've heard, I've heard of that show. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's <laughs> enough. That's yeah. enough. <laughs> hey, but, th- that's, a, that's great. But I heard the ending sucked. I disagree. Ooh, you just, I'm just kidding. You just triggered uh, Casey's Casey. going to go off. Now. I disagree. I thought it was artistic. Okay. And I thought it was, I thought it was genius. Mm-hmm. I mean, I could spoil it right now. I'm not gonna. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, that came out when I was like 12, I think. Yeah, the show's old. Yeah. Okay. It, I, I think it wrapped up in like two, like the early 2000s. Okay. 
Um, but it still holds, according to Casey. Oh, no, I've never seen it. That's, I thought that's it was too much of a commitment. Together. It's violent. It, it is about a lot. Ga- it is about a lot gangsters. To watch. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Game of Thrones. I couldn't get into it. I fantasy. I don't know. Really, not a fantasy person. Yeah, I'm even trying to read this book, American Gods, and it's just there's too much fantasy, and I, it's boring. But my friend's obsessed with it, and so I'm reading it for him. Hmm. <laughs> I, I have Lord of Rings, Hobbit, Star Wars. They just they don't do it for me. I so I feel that way <laughs> about all those. I agree. I haven't watched uh, Lord of the Rings. Um, I you haven't, haven't seen the movies. Nope. I've I've seen oh. one of them. Hmm. Um, no, I've seen two of them. I saw one of the Hobbit movies and I saw um, the last Lord of the Rings movie, I think. So I'm like, I've ruined it for myself. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, well, Star that was, Wars. That one's the best one anyway. I've only seen uh, uh, episode three of Star Wars and uh, Solo. Episode three, like? Revenge of the Sith. Wow. Yeah. That's the only one you've That's seen? the only one I saw. <laughs> it's just hop right in the middle. It's... Man. What it's just context. Guys? Have you seen them all? <laughs> I've seen all the newer stuff. Okay. But never never the original two trilogies. Oh, wow. Either of the trilogies. Okay. Yeah, mm. so I've seen seven, eight, and nine, and then like all the movies that have come out in between. But I'm a, I'm a late movie bloomer, so. Yeah, I, I still just don't watch movies. Like, he says he doesn't watch movies. I don't watch movies. Wow. See, I've seen all of them, and I hate Star Wars. <laughs> so that's, <laughs> I mean, that's, I definitely... That goes to show how much I love movies right. in general. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> I've definitely, like, Man. watched Star Wars movies, but, like, I don't pay attention to them. They're just on in a buddy's house or something like that. I've tried. Yeah. I've tried to watch one of the, uh, I guess, was it four, five, and six that came out first? Yeah. Um, they're... There's something about a movie being that old that just doesn't hold up anymore. Mm-hmm. I feel exactly the same, and that's why I struggle with older movies. <laughs> like one, two, and three, it's like it, it's it's new enough that it's like mm-hmm. there, I I can relate to it or not relate to it, but like I can I can watch it and be like, this is clear. Mm-hmm. It's like, I, but the old movies, I feel like I'm watching like a 144p video <laughs> on on YouTube, and I'm just like, this isn't worth watching. Yeah, yeah, no, the first one, even though it was state of the art for its time, mm-hmm. amazing, but yeah, it's. Yeah, it looks bad now. Well, I mean, the first the first one or two of them, I'm pretty sure they filmed on like a, maybe under a million dollar budget. Like it was really low budget for a movie hmm. because because they didn't think it was going to be anything, and then it blew up like crazy. Hmm. And then now they're owned oh, by Disney and can get whatever they want. The only of those trilogies that I've watched of the like the big movie trilogy things, uh, or not trilogy, but like sagas, is Harry Potter. I've watched all of Harry Potter. I haven't seen Harry Potter. Actually. Really? It's another fantasy I just can't stand. Uh, Any of them? <laughs> too much magic potion. <laughs> <laughs> like, get away from me. I don't... This is not real. You've never watched any of them? <laughs> None of them. I know. I've seen the first one. Well, I mean, they're <laughs> and all... I read the first book, and I saw a little bit of the second one, and I, I think I went to the premiere of the part two of... What, what, so you watched the first and the last one? Oh, the, oh, oh, Goblet. Okay. No, what's the last one called? Uh, Deathly, Deathly Hollows, Hollows, right? Yeah, yeah. I think I watched part two of Death. Of Death yeah, of that's Hollows. the last movie. <laughs> I, uh, I'm in the same exact boat. I've, yeah. I, no, I've Harry seen Potter other ones. Harry Potter dies. <laughs> <laughs> you can take that out. I'm sorry. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen sprinkles of the Harry Potter movies. It's been 10 years. So. Everyone yeah, knows no, by now. Forever. Like, you just... <laughs> <laughs> That's why they have. You like just reminded me of a of a prank video that I'm going to bring up in a second. Oh yeah, um, but oh yeah, I've seen <laughs> sprinkles of the Harry Potter movies, but I've also only seen part two of Deathly Hollow. I never saw the first part. Was it just because of the hype? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> was that when, whenever you had the whole movie pass thing going on? No, it was way after. Okay, movie pass was, was. Oh, okay. I don't remember. Movie pass is quite an experience. Like, oh, that was yeah. uh, that was the best summer ever. Like summer <laughs> slash 2018, fall. man. Oh yeah, that was crazy. I, and then and I then will, they lost so much money, and then they ceased to exist. I will forever regret <laughs> just choosing to not believe it, or I don't know what my deal was. But you were like, dude, come on, like, like just, it's it's so easy. And I was like, I don't know. I'm pretty so, sure you were like, what, what's it, the catch? Was, I thought it, it was like a scam. It, yeah, it, what's it the was catch? literally too good to be true. Yeah, yeah. So I was just like, no, I feel, I feel like eventually it's going to be like, here's a bill for <laughs> four thousand dollars. Figure it out. It was definitely one of those things where I was convinced it was a scam, and then Reddit was like, "No, no, it's cool. Get in on it while you can." Because <laughs> thanks, not Reddit. Gonna last They're gonna realize that there, there's something up here. Yeah, and I remember it got really bad for a while too, and like movie theaters wouldn't take movie pass cards. Yeah, but I mean, it's like, just like a Mastercard. So everyone... I remember taking a sticker off of like a credit card and sticking it over the movie pass logo so you couldn't see it. Oh wow, it worked. Man, <laughs> I did it. Everybody figuring out the mm-hmm. ways through. It's like, yeah, movies are actually cool. Just no one can actually afford to go see them. Yeah, they stack up. 
Yeah, well, especially LA, that it's like twenty bucks a ticket. Oh really? Yeah, it's wow. so bad. Oh, yeah, it's it's half that here at ArcLight. Well, um, yeah, it's cheap. It, everything's cheaper <clears throat> outside of LA, so it's really nice. Which is funny because we often talk about how it'd be cool to live in LA, but then every time we do that, we always see stuff as like mm, maybe not. <laughs> if we had the money, I I would move to LA in a heartbeat if I had the means to make it happen. Yeah, it's you should. Just, I think it's um it's worth living there in your twenties. How old are you? 25. Yeah. Oh, I, I moved there when I was 25. So, Hell yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, there's, just, there's just something about it. Yeah. I, I do think that it's the magic of it is changing into, a, I don't know, like it was like movie stars and people that are like creating closed door stuff. And now because YouTube is the thing, it's like anywhere you go, like we talked about, it's just everybody is filming and everybody is like has an agenda. Mm-hmm. And I feel like so many people are going to walk up to you and like try to get you involved in stuff. Maybe that doesn't happen, but um, wait, are you talking about me? Well, no, like, like, uh, like if you're just in LA and and people are just like, I want to interact with the the people walking around here. Mm. Um, I feel like LA is where that would happen the most, or like New York, LA, places like that. Well, yeah, like at a parties and stuff, everyone's always trying to make connections and mm. you know build up their their contact book <laughs> <laughs> just, just have as many phone numbers as possible does, does anyone have those anymore <laughs> just, oh one second dude, like, uh, just, I, have my, I, I have to balance my i have to balance my checkbook really book. quick <laughs> you just like no just write your number right here <laughs> it's like dude do you not have let, a phone let me dip my feather well, in this film, ink I'm really quick right and just, <laughs> oh god <laughs> that's okay. funny um but yeah no everyone's definitely climbing the social ladder in la and like trying to just get something out of you yeah, I mean the hustle. <laughs> that's that's what yeah. it's about, and LA is where everybody goes to make that happen. Yeah, yeah. I feel like uh, New York City is the same way. New York just was like so much grosser, and and, and shoulder to shoulder. I mean, well, Manhattan specifically. I was like, did this you, is... you live there? No, I I spent not a lot of time there. I've been to LA, uh, well, Santa Monica specifically, and then I've been to Manhattan. Both I spent like a day or two there, so it wasn't a lot. But oh, okay, my experience varied drastically between the two yeah they're different they're so different yeah i just i thought santa monica was so like i don't know like spacious and yeah and and just there's so much to do and there is a like a shit ton to do in uh manhattan also but it was so it was so shoulder to shoulder and so noisy and chaotic Mm -hmm. it was fun it was definitely fun but i couldn't imagine like walking those streets every day that's yeah. got to be. I wouldn't want to like jog in New York City. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. You would have I, to have a gym membership. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to actually go to New York City next weekend just to be a tourist. Okay. So like, I'm going to experience all. That. I've been there a couple times, and yeah, it's like people have a different like motor when you live in New York. Yeah. Like you just go, you never stop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, talking to my brother, he, he's lived in New York and in uh, he lives in Seattle now, and he hasn't had like a license in ten years. Hmm. He just hasn't needed it. Just, oh, you, just yeah. you just walk everywhere or like <clears throat> bike, skate, whatever. And it's like that's such a completely different style of living than the suburbia that we live in. Yeah, LA. I didn't. I didn't have a car for two years because I, <clears throat> um, because I I shouted out when Uber had that like free twenty dollar thing for sh- a referral code mm-hmm. you would share with people, and so you'd get a free twenty dollar ride. I put I shouted that out on a video and I got like two hundred. <laughs> oh <my. laughs> I got like what's two times t- two, two four. So yeah, I got like four thousand dollars worth of Uber rides or something. Um, for and so I just did Uber for like the next two years. That was like two thousand sixteen and seventeen. That's so smart. Yeah. <laughs> it, well, but they don't do that promotion anymore because because of people like because you. of entrails. <laughs> They were like, dude, this dude just racked up so much money. <laughs> well, well, no, yeah, and then like everyone knew what Uber was by then. Oh, that yeah. was it. Was like when they were starting off, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that it was well have... in their early years. Like every app does that, you know. Mm-hmm. So I must have missed that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, there's probably a new app right now that you can do that for. They'll give you five bucks. If only oh, I had, uh, yeah. If only I had four thousand people. That that would that would do. <laughs> oh. What was your, uh, you had a question about a a prank? Oh, yeah. Going back to Harry Potter. Uh, oh, I remember okay. way back. I don't even, was YouTube even a thing when the last Harry Potter book came out? 
Yes. When the book it came was. out? Oh, I don't know. When, when the book, book came out. out. Yeah, yeah, the book. I don't, I don't have don't time know when the book so. came out. Right. <laughs> so I, I just remember seeing, uh, I remember the last book came out and it leaked and people were pirating it online and someone made a prank video where they uh, drove by bookstores where people were waiting for the book to come out and they were screaming spoilers. <laughs> Wait, I think I know Whoa. how it leaked. Really? Like Devil's Wears Prada. Have you seen that? I haven't seen it. Yeah, like she has to get the transcript for, for her boss. <sighs> okay, never mind. Sorry. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but that is a true story. Devil's Wears Prada. Devil Wears Prada is a true story. So that might be how it got leaked. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> See, I don't watch movies. Yep. <laughs> See, we just talked about not watching movies. You're like, you know, remember this movie? Uh, we all hear the Devil Wears Prada and we think of a very different thing. Oh, oh yeah. absolutely. <laughs> I was like, pretty cool band. Pretty cool band. Just released <laughs> yeah. an album. Oh, is that like an emo band? Uh, yeah, actually, in a way. <laughs> Screamo. Would, would they? Yeah. Screamo. Yeah, they were back whatever you would call it. Screamo. <laughs> what, a, what a rough time that was. Oh, my God. I, I, can, I can smell the burnt flat iron hair right now. <laughs> right, Amanda? <laughs> Jeez. Uh, oh, man. Um, so, I, w- I want Emo to come back. Oh, I'd be down. It's trying. I still got skinny jeans. <laughs> I feel like uh, we're everything. doing it. We're back. And then, like, and then COVID. I feel like the like TikTok thing is pretty close. No, I agree completely. I, th- I think that, well. TikTok you, has a look now. And if you listen to what's on the radio, like what's popular is really emotional music. It Depressing just, shit. Yeah, it just isn't labeled as emo. Oh, Amanda. Not to just completely, but I, <laughs> I've seen the Devil Wears Prada, so I was picking up what you were putting down. Okay. So that was, I appreciate that. I, I appreciate that. Um, See, Amanda watches movies, like, you know. Okay. Yeah, I watch movies. <laughs> Fuck the rest of you guys. But that's it. Um, but yeah, also like the band as well. Both great, you know. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, yeah. Mm. Well, oh. well, yeah, thank you for acknowledging it. <laughs> <laughs> just said, Let me not leave him hanging. Let me just, <laughs> everyone was just silent. Like, just like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. I think that's the I second time we've had. I had, like, uh, I had the feeling of a joke landing, but like not the joke piece because I was like, I know I don't get it, but I think it's supposed to be funny. <laughs> well, I was, what was going through my head was, do I act like I know what he's talking about? <laughs> you, see, <laughs> see you, you did that you before. You could have just been like, I did that before, before dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like, I can't do it. Just like, oh, that was really funny, man. So, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> It's my first time on the podcast. I'm too nervous to do that. <laughs> uh, literally, our very first episode, our oh guest, god, our our guest brought up something that neither of us knew about. Casey was like, "Yeah, man, I know exactly." And then, but then he just immediately changed the subject. Yeah, like the, I was like, the yeah, you conversation know, I, wasn't done about it. That that that's that's a cool idea, but I definitely think that. Th- and I was like, "Let me just steer it this way." <laughs> and, and and I was like, "It was so obvious." I uh-huh. I, I I'm pretty sure I I paused. I was like, <laughs> "Yeah," uh, I was like, "Shit, totally. what do I do?" <laughs> It was our first. It was our first attempt at it. So, uh, yeah, I, but no, I, I interrupted you before I <laughs> said, <laughs> attempted the joke. <laughs> before I mentioned "Devil's Wears Prada," "Devil Wears the Devil Wears Prada." Nailed it. Yep, yeah, got that's it. the take we'll use. What were you talking about? Uh, it, was, it was a prank. <laughs> <laughs> it was what a, were you on um, about, Ethan? It was a prank video. Oh yeah, I don't remember who made it. It was so long ago. I must have been maybe in middle school. Can we get a? Can anyone fact check when the Deathly Hollows book came out? Um, but there's a video and people were driving by. Don't look at me like that. Uh, like what? I'm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was just Wait. engaging in your conversation. Wait, Fuck so off. We, yeah, so we need to figure out the year that the last book came out, right? Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Believe, believe Some, th- there, there are phones out. Not a, <laughs> looking not, into not at all an go. important all right. detail, though. Not at all an important okay, detail. Okay. But there, it was a prank video, and people were driving by bookstores where people, there were like giant crowds of people, like, you know, like Call of Duty almost, like waiting in outside in line but for a book. Mm-hmm. Um, Man, what a wild time. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, so the, they were like driving by, and they were screaming out, like, Snape kills Dumbledore, and like all the, all the like things the that happened things. In, the, in the last book. And people were like really pissed. That was a that was a, like a viral video. Yeah. Okay. Hey, yo, quick fact check. Uh, the Deathly Hallows Part One came out in July two thousand seven. Damn. Yeah. So, yep, you got it. I was in middle school. Whoa. Two thousand seven. Wow. Yeah. Like, I don't think you could make money on YouTube at that yeah, point. Yeah, probably think, not. Was that when? Yeah. When did YouTube come out? Two thousand six. Uh, no, five. Like, was it older than that? It was like two thousand four. Oh. I think really? it like it started like trickling. I remember its existence. I had the Time magazine of the interview with Google and YouTube CEOs. Mm-hmm. 
So, man, I wish I still had that. <laughs> worth, worth some money now. <laughs> Maybe. Back when they had different uh, CEOs. You could probably get it on eBay for like a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now it, uh, now it controls everything. It's like, what was it, like Facebook was second uh, of like, it was like market share or something. And mm-hmm. YouTube was so far ahead of everything else as far as like what's making the most money. Yeah, that was, MySpace was still popping. MySpace. 2007. I tried to get into my MySpace recently. <laughs> I couldn't figure it out. I, I like this year. Yeah, like like last week. <laughs> I thought I thought they wiped everyone's profile. So from what I, I saw, something on like Twitter or something that was like, if you type in the the URL slash your name slash this other thing, it should bring because it's all archived. It should bring it up uh, in like an archive state. And I tried, and it didn't work. And then I tried to log in, but I don't know what my yeah. fucking login was. I have about twenty passwords. Oh yeah, and I was like, I don't know what this. Guy, I don't even know what my username was. Yeah, it was probably. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> it was like twelve. It was probably something really stupid mm-hmm. with X's and underscores, like Skater Boy forty eight or something. Like, <laughs> yeah. Jeez. I I wish I could. I wish I could see my old my MySpace profile. I don't. Same. I, also <laughs> no, I don't. absolutely want to. I feel like once I jumped to Facebook because I was kind of like, I was a little bit late. I was kind of so stubborn. I. Me too. Uh, I feel like I just I was a new person. I was just like a fresh start. I was like, man, that guy was kind of cringy. Mm-hmm. Whenever yeah. I jumped over to Facebook, it was whenever I stopped using uh, AIM or AIM. AIM. Yeah. It's not AIM. It's a- How many times do we have to say this? D- are, you, are you familiar with what we're talking about? AOL Instant America, Messenger? Uh, Instant N- Messenger. Uh huh. America Instant <laughs> Messenger. <laughs> AIM. Yeah. I know what yeah, AIM exactly. is. But you never AIM. called it AIM. No. Damn it. AIM. Fuck. You're like O for or 40, dude. MSN, I know. MSN Messenger. Oh, or that. Okay. But they, were, they were different things. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I used AIM. I guess it is. And then whenever I switched over to Facebook, I was like, let me uh let me just deactivate this. <laughs> There's a lot of uh cringy me being dumb on there. <laughs> as I'm sure is for everybody. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I I miss my MySpace. I wanna see I wanna take you see trip. who your last top eight was? Yeah, hundred percent. I wanna yeah, know that, what my that last was. That's such a dumb idea. Like, <laughs> I definitely, was, I yeah, definitely was like, got mad at someone right one now. day and said, Nope, you're down to four. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, that was the greatest thing in the world. It was just like you really pissed me off at at lunch today. I yeah. really didn't like how you took one of my fries without asking. So uh, you're you're now number five. <laughs> Went from number three to five. Oh, you just uh, reminded me of a time I got in so much trouble in middle school. I do was tell. Like, I was very angry at my parents. And you remember like MySpace bulletins? Mm-hmm. I posted a MySpace bulletin, and it was this really like an- like angry, angsty rant about my parents. And then uh, lo and behold, another member of my family was like, "Hey." Your son said all this stuff on MySpace, and I remember getting banned from the computer for like, I don't remember how long, but it was a long time. And yeah, I've always been a computer kid, so I was like, oh, you must destroyed. have destroyed. Yeah, Man. I had the same thing happen to me, but I think it was on Facebook. Well, yeah, I remember that was like a big thing because MySpace was like the one place that your parents weren't, <laughs> and then Facebook was kind of that for a little bit, and, and then, then everyone got one. Now yeah. it's where grandma is. Now Snapchat's kind of the place where your parents aren't. Yeah. Or Instagram, maybe. But even Instagram, my mom has one now. I feel like Snapchat's just completely different. It's used, at least for me. No, yeah, I don't go on Snapchat. I do use Snapchat, <laughs> but it's for like a, like a spur of the moment thing, I guess. Mm. Um, it's not for like, like Instagram. I want it to like stick around. Mm. Well, Instagram still can be spur of the moment. If you use the stories. stories. Do you think Snapchat will fade away? Yeah, I do. Oh. I think every uh, all the other companies took the best things from Snapchat, like the stories mainly. Yeah. And now like Snapchat doesn't really have that much of a, even YouTube is uh, adapting. Um, uh, what TikToks, are they calling it? Yeah. yeah. TikToks. I forget. Shorts is shorts, what they're calling yeah, it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everybody's just taking everything. Have you seen that? I have not. Twitter, yeah. Twitter has stories now. Twitter, yeah, Twitter has, has stories. Give me a break. Nobody uses them. <laughs> yeah. I don't think nobody uses the Facebook stories either. Instagram yeah. nails it. So, well, at least what least buys with Facebook, they just import what they post on Instagram since, you yeah. know, you think, you think everything. TikTok is here to stay? I think so. I mean, it's going to be as here to stay as Vine was. <laughs> I think it has <laughs> a. I think it has more longevity than Vine because um, I think that Vine, unfortunately, was not as willing to change with the times. They had a very strict format of the like six seconds, and I don't think they ever loosened up on that. But like TikTok has a minute, fifteen seconds. There's people who are doing three minutes now, and there's a, there's like mm. a TikTok culture. There was a yeah. Vine culture too, I guess. Well, I saw like reels, reels happen on Instagram, and mm-hmm. so I was like, "Oh!" 
and I still hadn't gotten hadn't gotten into TikTok yet. So I, um, but and that was like a year ago. So I, I guess I'll just get into TikTok now. Yeah, I, I love TikTok. <laughs> I've, I'm late into the TikTok game. I got to figure out how that all works. Yeah. I was thinking about it. The uh, the um, the videos when, whenever which we haven't even mentioned uh, like how this even happened and the fact that you guys got got together. Oh yeah, uh, to shoot a video. Um, but I want to talk about like how that happened, but I know for one of the things you were doing was like having people film like uncomfortable, funny videos that you were like, it's for TikTok. Oh yeah. And I was like, I, I want to see that. I, I, I like, do you post those anywhere? Um, oh, I haven't posted them. No, I would love like, that would be, that would, that would be oh, so wait, good no, for I TikTok. I posted one on Instagram, but yeah, okay. I would be, I mean, they're not. <laughs> they're so uncomfortable but like i want to yeah. see it so bad i was like i want to see what was actually filmed <laughs> they were they were supposed to be cringy and dumb and yeah the you know <laughs> it was like a meta thing you know yeah but did you see the like the main video yeah no i did yeah, yeah. um yeah yeah i could just post those on just post those on instagram or something yeah, yeah. <laughs> but so you guys got together ethan you should tell the story on how the fuck that happened oh the story oh yeah so I'm at work doing my thing, um, super bored. I'm on Craigslist. Hopefully, no one from work sees this. Um, <laughs> you I'm still on, do a good job. It's all right. That's true. Uh, I'm, I'm on Craigslist and I'm in like the creative section under under gigs, and uh, I go in there every once in a while just to just to see. You never know what you might find. Um, and I see like need a cameraman, and I'm like I'm a cameraman. <laughs> so I click on it, uh, go in there, and I I see like you know trying to film like public prank videos and i'm like okay very cool and then at the end it's not like you had your email address there and uh-huh. it said mr hales and i was like i know a public prank guy <laughs> whose last name is hales that rings a bell yeah <laughs> and then uh actually i think you signed off you signed off as andrew and then the reply to email was mr hales and i was mm. like i'm connecting some dots here <laughs> <laughs> so i was like i'll Detective send a message Ethan. i'll see what happens i'll send a message mm. so i sent a message i thought that would be the end of it he responded, and I was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> and then um, you were like, "Yeah, are you free Sunday? Like your, your portfolio looks good. Are you are you free Sunday?" And I was like, "This doesn't feel right." Yeah. I was like, I, "I know you're in LA. Why would you be in Virginia?" So yeah. um, I I actually I Google searched your email just to make sure <laughs> yeah. to validate. Um, I saw that you had tweeted your email at people before on Twitter, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Oh, this is like." Is legit, yeah, yeah. But I still wasn't fully convinced that it was legit. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, you made me like DM you on Twitter. Or something. I did, yeah, yeah. That's right. I wasn't convinced yet, so I Two-way thought I was like, it. maybe someone just has his email and is like, I pissed off at him so or something. Flattering. <laughs> you just think, just like, no, nah, so <laughs> untouchable. <laughs> but it's yeah, just, there's like, there's like no posts on a uh, Craigslist in the film section for gigs mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah, is that? Um, I was. It was like me and two other people, I think. Yeah, and when when we uh when when we met up before and we shot that video, you mentioned that you met your first cameraman on Craigslist and stuff. And so, mm. like, is Craigslist more active where you're from? Because here, uh, I think like I don't think anyone uses Craigslist anymore. What do you use? Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> yeah, Facebook Marketplace or like OfferUp usually. Yeah. To for services? No, not oh, for services. No. I guess that's like a weird right. uh like um oh Facebook groups for services. I feel yeah, like. to yes. buy, to, buy yeah. to buy stuff. Well, th- there's like Facebook groups of like. Seven five seven freelance freelance you know? filmmakers whatever and then there's people that post in there. I feel uh, like that's the more common place. Oh, I haven't done that at all. Mm. <laughs> I mean, that's I mean it's working. That, that's how yeah. you also get like blown up with notifications. So like, yeah, very true. Get <laughs> forty thousand people that are like, I'll do it. Like I've never filmed anything, but huh? So I go to Facebook and the city because if I wanted to get a filmer in upstate New York, I would just go to Facebook. Um, uh, like, or I mean, yeah, you uh, can we'll, search like we'll the city. That out later, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me learn you something about Facebook real quick. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. So, um, I validated your email, <laughs> and then uh, you responded, and I was like, "Super cool." And then yeah. I was like, "Is there any way you can like DM me on Twitter, just so I'm like 100 percent sure that I'm not going to get killed?" Well, or like, something. yeah. How? Why would like a serial killer use that I, <laughs> as a way to kill someone? <laughs> It'd be like hyper specific, but it's also hyper specific. They really want to kill camera. Yeah. <laughs> they just hate camera guys. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Specifically, camera guys that are fans <laughs> of you. Just, like I said, like, I, I probably check the, these people. I probably check the creative section on Craigslist like once a week or so, and it's almost always just like, like looking for nude models. 
yeah. and, and stuff Hot like Girls that. Wanted. So, yeah. yeah, a lot of porn, porn stuff. Almost exclusively. Damn. So like, that's <laughs> yeah. why I was like, whoa, is that that's like legit? And like, I, I, it's someone that I've like subscribed to on YouTube forever. What, what's happening? Mm. But you saw the oh, blue check sweet. mark, and you were like, "All right, we're good." <laughs> yeah, I was like, "We're good to go." And then uh, we scheduled it, and and we did yeah, the thing. Yeah, did you did you kind of seem like I didn't small talk a lot? Like I was just like, "All right, yeah, I'll meet you Sunday," you know? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's a little I, forward. I don't like to chit chat. So. It's, it's business. That's got to get going. <laughs> yeah, you're like, let's just do the thing. I was yeah. like, "All right, we'll do." I the mean, thing. I had nothing but positive <laughs> things to say about it. He came he came home like the day uh, uh the day that like you guys oh, exchanged good. everything, and he was like, "Yo." craziest shit just happened to me and then the the day that you guys actually filmed he came home he was like yo <laughs> that was so cool <laughs> and he was just like yeah like it was just like really easy and like really mm. um, I, I don't know just like nothing but positive things to say oh amanda's That's back good. on is the ethan might kill me for this but the other day ethan oh, was no. like he was like yo i never use twitter fuck this platform is so stupid i'm gonna delete it so he deleted it for like 10 seconds and then he reactivated it and i was like why'd you reactivate twitter he's like because i don't want to lose lost that follow he was like I, I was like you don't even use twitter and he's like yeah and i want i want to keep that follow it's pretty sick and i was like okay that's i mean that's an argument that's, hmm. i can't argue with that oh uh, yeah i mean <laughs> social media you gotta cloud chase a little bit right yeah like, likes and follows that's what we're trying to do we gotta yeah. we're, we're we're trying low bat what's low bat mean again it doesn't stand for anything i've said that we should come up with a funny acronym for it okay but uh losing <laughs> leave only wumbo <laughs> bitch Wait. actually tyler live on women's breasts at time at all, t- all time at all, all time <laughs> Hell Live yeah. on women's breasts all time. <laughs> oh gosh, there it is. No, that's gotta, it. You know, you got to be careful if you like, because that's kind of how the like. If you don't want that to pop off, like, to take it out because people will just keep commenting it. <laughs> <laughs> like the it's, a, it's a work in progress. So <laughs> yeah, that's not final. We're don't comment that all the time. No, no, no. Like that's gonna. <laughs> no, I know. Misfire. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> you know what I want. <laughs> Oh gosh! Hell yeah! Well, um, seems like a pretty good place to to wrap it up. Um, sure. With with you, what you have going on now? Um, is there anything that you would want to want to plug, or just like the future of where where you're headed? Um, just uh, check out my YouTube channel, uh, YouTube dot com slash loft l a h w f, um, and that's pretty much my meat and potatoes of everything I do. And from there, you can find everything else I do. So. Hell yeah. Yeah. We'll have your uh your socials uh listed in there too. Yeah. So everybody can go follow him everywhere. Cool. Well hell yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Of course. Um thank you everybody for yeah, listening. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um and uh we will see you guys next time. Later. Peace.